Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about division of polynomials. In division of polynomial, remember to divide a polynomial by a monomial, divide each term of the polynomial by a monomial. To understand it further, let's have an example. For example, we have 9x plus 21 all over 3 or divided by 3. As I said, you are going to divide each term of a polynomial by a monomial. So, 9x divided by 3 plus, because the operation here is addition, 21 divided by 3. Now, simplify. 9x divided by 3 is equal to 3x. Because 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3, then copy x plus 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. So, the final answer is 3x plus 7. Another example, 12x squared plus 16x all over 4x. So, divide each term of a polynomial. So, it will become 12x squared divided by 4x plus 16x divided by 4x. Now, don't forget to apply the law of exponents in dividing with the same base. So, divide the numerical coefficient, then copy the base and subtract the exponent. So, 12x squared divided by 4x is equal to 3x. Why 3x? 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 and x raised to 2 minus 1 is equal to x or x1. That's why we have 3x as an answer. Then, plus 16x divided by 4x is equal to 4. So, the final answer is 3x plus 4. Example number 3. x squared plus 6x plus 8 divided by x plus 2. To divide polynomial by a binomial, we perform the long division. So, it will become like this. x squared divided by x is equal to x. Then, x times x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus 2x. Because x times x is equal to x squared and x times 2 is equal to 2x. That's why we have x squared plus 2x here. Now, subtract. Don't forget to change the sign. So, x squared will become 0 because x squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Then, 6x minus 2x is equal to 4x. We subtract because they are unlike sign. Now, bring down 8. 4x divided by x is equal to 4. Then, 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 4x plus 8. Because 4 times x is equal to 4x and 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Now, change the sign so it will become 0 here. Because 4x minus 4x is equal to 0. And 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 also. So, therefore, we ended up here. So, the final answer is x plus 4. Now, it's your turn. Find the quotient of the given. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, special product. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone!